long before becoming the Australian Test wicketkeeper, and with only two first grade matches under his belt, 21 year old Bert Oldfield enlisted for service in the First World War as soon as he was eligible in September 1915. Completing basic training at Sydney's Liverpool camp, Oldfield was appointed to the Australian Army Medical Service and was transferred to the first Australian Dermatological Hospital in Egypt. Once the unit relocated to England to treat men from the Western Front battlefields, Oldfield began training to become a stretcher bearer in 1916. After completing training, Oldfield was transferred to the 15th Field Ambulance in 1917 in time to take part in the Passchendaele campaign, the bloodiest of the First World War. The objective of the campaign was to capture strategic high grounds east of the Belgian city of Ypres, which had been hotly contested for the three years of the war. Following success in the Battle of Menin Road, British forces had captured the edge of Polygon Wood, a small pine forest surrounded by fields. After three years of war, it no longer resembled a forest, with shattered tree stumps the only reminder of its former tranquility. At dawn on the 26th of September 1917, the Australian 14th and 15th Infantry Brigades launched their assault to capture Polygon Wood and drive the German occupiers from their fortified stronghold at the eastern end of the wood, called the Butte. Behind the 15th Brigade on the right flank of the attack on the wood was Bert Oldfield and his stretcher squad. The Australians had enjoyed the cover of an almost perfect creeping barrage, but the German counter barrage proved to be lethal and created casualties among the attackers. Oldfield and his three comrades had placed an injured soldier on their stretcher and were making their way to the regimental aid post when the group was hit by an exploding German shell. Two stretcher bearers and the injured soldier on the stretcher died instantly. A third ambulance man died the following day. Bert Oldfield was buried by the blast and suffered head, back and thigh injuries and was partially asphyxiated before being dug out of the mud and dirt. Oldfield's battle was over, but the day was a success with the Australian infantry capturing the wood and resisting fierce German counter-attacks to hold it. While undergoing treatment, Oldfield developed shell shock and was treated for the condition in England for six months. Following his recovery, he finished the war serving in the kit stores unit in London at the rank of corporal, later selected for the legendary Australian Imperial Force cricket team. After becoming New South Wales and Australian wicketkeeper, Oldfield almost served the entire interwar period as the country's premier gloveman, infamously suffering a second major traumatic head injury in the third test of the acrimonious Bodyline series of 1932-33. Following cricket retirement, and with a second world war looming on the horizon, Oldfield joined the Australian Militia Forces as a private at the age of 45. He quickly rose through the ranks and at the outbreak of war was commissioned as a lieutenant. Serving in headquarters and amenities positions, Oldfield was on the island of Bougainville where Japanese forces were still holding out when the announcement came of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He was discharged on the rank of Major in 1946.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.